pockets. Let's talk about dating. We're going to talk about sprinkles. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Holly Schnicki, and I'm a marketing automation specialist here at Magnetic. And I'm going to talk to you about how account-based marketing can be the sprinkles in your lead generation cake. Lead generation usually means casting a wide net across your entire target audience to gather as many leads as possible. We've mastered this lead generation strategy here at Night Octane, or sweet spot, if you will. That's a strong approach, but adding ABM can take your impact to the next level. Since 80% of your revenue typically comes from 20% of your audience, why not flip the funnel on its head <laughs> and start marketing directly to that 20%? That's what ABM allows you to do. A recent study by Demand Metric highlighted the top benefits cited by account-based marketers. 78% saw better sales and marketing alignment. 67% saw more qualified prospects, and 55% saw more pipeline opportunities. ABM isn't new, and neither are sprinkles. What is new <laughs> is the technology that allows for hyper-targeting, automating, and scaling. Though I might be a little biased towards marketing and automation, a true ABM campaign encompasses many of the lead generation strategies you're already using. On social, we surround influencers and decision makers with key and relevant information. Through media, we use IP targeting, contextual targeting, and job title targeting to serve ads directly to our fake fish. Through PPC, we use geotargeting and customer match to focus on specific leads. Using marketing automation, we create and execute highly personalized emails and landing pages, dynamically updating content based on company and persona pain points. We can even use IP information to automatically update your web page to speak directly to a specific company or industry. Sometimes we even kick it old school and go offline, sending everything from a burner phone to, our, to flowers. So how do you add your ABM sprinkles to your lead gen strategy? Start with three easy steps. Identify, personalize, and optimize. First is identify. You probably have a handful of dream clients on your wish list. So does sales. Align the two lists and determine together whether or not those are a good fit for your company based on industry, potential revenue, stage in the buying cycle, and then any other criteria. Once you determine who the key accounts are, figure out who the key decision makers and influences are within that account. Most decision purchase decisions are made by two or more people, so it's really important to make sure you're marketing to those influencers as well. Next is personalize. Using ABM tactics, you can personalize the experience to specifically address pain points and tap into the emotions of the decision makers on the account. It's important to do your homework at this phase in the process so that your message stands out in a sea of sprinkles. You should also personalize the way that you communicate with these key accounts. <coughs> Pay attention to where and how your big fish have communicated with you in your past. Perhaps C-suite execs are more likely to interact with the LinkedIn ad, and maybe the influencers are more likely to engage with an email. Finally is optimize. With so much research, planning, and time going into an ABM campaign, uh, measurement is usually the most fun part for the team as we're constantly refreshing our data sources to see what's going on and who has signed up for a webinar. While this part can be the most fun, it's also really important to be on our toes so that we can optimize and make changes if a certain piece isn't working the way we want it to. Just like any lead generation recipe, a successful ABM campaign requires a handful of research, a pile of creativity, a heap of upfront work, a pinch of patience, and a dash of risk. But this approach gets to the good stuff first. The flow of leads may be smaller than a traditional lead generation campaign, but the interactions and conversations will be so much sweeter. So to make an impact, don't get rid of your lead generation cake, just add some sprinkles. 